again and welcome to the Pin Man. Uh, today we are going to be taking a look at a very nice offering from the Jinhao Pin Company. This is the Jinhao X750. Very similar to the X450. Uh, uh, mainly the differences are the styles. In fact, they, they have one style that is very similar. I believe it's their uh, red, they have kind of like a reddish, uh, blackish kind of uh, color combination. But uh, and then the the grips, the 450 has a slightly faceted uh, grip, whereas the X750 is more of a smooth, uh, no facet uh, grip, which uh, personally I kind of prefer. The X750 retails for around $10, uh, give or take. And uh, you can find them, obviously, on eBay. Goulet Pen Company sells them. Uh, uh, other retailers, you, you know that. They're, they're all over the place. I, I really like this model. However, it I wouldn't call it necessarily unique. But I like the chrome on chrome, where you have the... Uh, brushed, what I, what I call brushed chrome on the body and the, the cap, but you have the shiny chrome on the finials, the clip, and the band, as well as I really uh, like the uh, imprint where uh, that's stamped on there. It just, it has a, a nice professional, it's, it's a, uh, deeper type of imprint. Uh, it's painted well. It just looks like it has um, some very good um, craftsmanship uh, involved there. So again, I really enjoy using this pen. It's one pen, one of those inexpensive pens in my collection that I, that I will look forward to using uh, again and again. So it's a great writer, so I hope you enjoy this review. We are going to transition now to uh, some uh, colors, show you the different styles that this pen is available in, as well as a tour of the pen, uh, size comparisons, writing sample, etc. All right, again, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the other side. And here's a tour of the Jinhao X750. And I'll call this a brushed chrome. You have a the chrome finials there. And then the chrome clip. And the clip is uh, plenty tight enough. I, I, li I like it's kind of, it's. I'm, I'm sure it's hollow. There it kind of looked, uh, looked hollow if you look Look in there a little bit and see if I can get the light right there. But anyway, it's hollow, but um, it's it's smooth, so it'll go into a pocket or on a strap uh, easily enough. All right, and then you have, and right here you have the Jinhao, and I I like the I like the print on here. You know, it's it's like it's stamped in and then uh, painted in there. I don't know. It just uh, to me, and it's you know it's a heavier type of. Uh, metal brass, probably chrome plated brass. Uh, this is a, you know, again a metal metal pen, chrome uh, on brass is is typical for these kinds of pens. But uh, you have Jinhao, then this uh, design there on the back, and then the X750 right there, and then the design again. Snap cap. And you have your nib, or Jinhao, right there, with the chariot. And of course, this is 18 uh, KGP, okay, 18 karat gold plated. And I think they just have that stamped on all their nibs in case they have some kind of uh, supposedly gold plating around in some of their designs, like on the uh, little strip there. 
with the little squigglies. Uh, anyway, that um, will oftentimes uh, be gold on their pins, and so <laughs> they just put that on there because it's not a gold nib. There's no plating on this uh, nib either. Then there's your uh, typical basic feed that you'll see on these. The grip is just a uh, plastic around grip and it's you know it's it's not rubber uh, but it's not like a smooth metal either so it's um, it's nice it's comfortable plenty uh, plenty long enough and comfortable enough in your hand not a real fat not a real skinny nice medium uh, size grip there unscrew it and you have an international uh, converter came with the converter I got this from uh, Goulet pens and there you have the Jin Hao and I you know as I've mentioned before I I do appreciate when a pen company uh, puts a converter in I mean th these are inexpensive pens but they still put a converter in there and this is a double wall converter so you know some some of them just put a single wall but uh, Jin Hao puts these converters in there that are double walled so I appreciate that you got the threads there now as you can see hope, hopefully you can see there's a nice space there uh, if you wanted to put some sort of uh, gasket in there but this is a metal pen so you know, they always warn against uh, using metal pins for uh, eyedroppers. Huh, that's funny. Seeing some. So I think I think this is one of my. You know, I've seen the other colors, but I don't, I don't know. This is. Uh, I, I think this is kind of a cool looking pin. Uh, it's you know, it's not a knockoff. I don't think. I don't consider it a knockoff. It's a pretty basic type of style. Um, but I, I, I like the brushed chrome on this with the regular chrome, uh, the, the polished chrome. Brushed and polished chrome. That, that to me, uh, just looks, it looks classy. Looks nice. All right, All right here's a size comparison of the Jinhao X750 with the Jin Hao 159 the Pilot Custom 823 and on the other side we have the Twisby Eco and the Metropolitan Pilot Metropolitan boy you can sure see the difference in the size of these two huh and here they are unposted and posted here is a writing sample of the Jinhao X750 This is a medium nib. There's not a lot of uh, nib tip options for these. They come in medium. I've seen uh, 1.0 stubs and broad uh, around. So I, it's kind of interesting him seeing fines, but I believe you can buy Jin Hao nibs separate and so you there's probably fines in there but and the ink I'm using is diamine apple glory I like that ink it's good uh, good performing ink it has a nice as far as bright inks I tend to like more earth tone inks but this apple glory is just something about it I yeah I like uh, flow is really good 
the uh, again this doesn't didn't come with a cartridge it came with a converter which I appreciate let's see as far as smoothness of the nib these write really good the uh, what I've seen from the Chinese nibs is they tend to uh, the nib tip sizes tend to go more uh, in the Western sizes rather than the uh, Japanese sizes so so it's a pretty much a true medium there uh, flow again is real good no hard start skips um, line variation not really but it will put out some juice so you'll get a little more ink there so it would be a little more saturated on uh, those uh, where you press down which I think is really cool. I don't know if you could see it shining, but <laughs> I like it. Reverse writing. Very good and smooth. So it's about a fine uh, in the reverse writing. Holds up well. Ah, sloppy there. And again, so everything is there. Uh, given the it does have a variety of styles that are available and um, one one style is like my x450 that dark red and black but um, you know they do have this is uh, the chrome and brush chrome that it has they have a matte black they have a gloss black well you saw the pictures as I put them up so I, I do like the fact that it's uh, has a variety of colors I I think I mean, the way this, this pen is, uh, it's just smooth. I think this doesn't look cheap. Uh, again, how they uh, did the print in there, the Jin Hao, the stamped in there, and it's uh, painted black inside, so hopefully that'll hold up over, over the years. It has a nice, solid feel. It is an uh, all-metal pen, but it's not that heavy, except for the, the uh, grip. I think that's a plastic there but um, yeah I, I don't know I I like this pen it, it will be one of mine uh, in a lineup because I just I enjoy using it so I'm gonna give it a smiley all right there you have it Jin Hao X 750 Again, thanks for tuning in to the Pin Man, and I hope you enjoy our look today at the Jin Hao X750 in Chrome on Chrome. <laughs> All right, again, if you uh, have any comments that you'd like to leave uh, regarding your own experience with the X750, uh, any questions that you might have about the pen, uh, please. Again, leave them in the comments below. All right, with that said, again, thanks for watching, and you all have a great day.